So I know you guys all tune in to watch my stove videos, and uh, I really enjoy doing the stoves, but the other day I was uh, messing around at work, and we had three line printers that were left, and they were going to be tossed. So I got online because I saw some stuff where you can use a stepper motor to make a CNC lathe. Now, I'm not sure to what degree I'm going to take this, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I have um, a couple of these stepper motors. One, two, and there's one here which makes three. I do not think this is a stepper motor. Uh, it was a very large motor inside the printer. Uh, I don't. You can feel a stepper motor generally when you twist them, and this one's not giving any kind of steps. So I think this is just a run motor. May come in handy for something. I'm not really sure what it's for. Um, anyway, there's a lot of little stepper motors as well, little bitty ones for stuff, and those uh, those are nice. But the big thing I'm working on is uh, trying to decide how to make one of these uh, CNC lathes uh, and what what route to go. Been doing a little looking. There's some that are run by the bands, some that are run by uh, threaded rods. Uh, and other things. So some that are just on bearings to go back and forth. Anyways, I thought I'd start off with the obviously the piece that I got from the printer that was uh, if you look here you can see that it has a cartridge that goes back and forth for printing and that is a stepper motor in there, run by that one there. So that lets me uh, control left to right or an x-axis. So I was thinking maybe bolt a board down to this uh, frame this out somehow and hold on to it. Bolt a board onto here, and that would give me my x y or my x axis. And then I figured I would work on the next step, which would be, you know, one over on this side, running this way, giving me uh, my y axis going this way. Obviously, the motor wouldn't move. The uh, either band or whatever I connect it to would move. Uh, this band actually is made for this, and it runs this way. And it ran with the, uh, I have the other part here, and that ran like that. So potentially I could attach that to a cartridge of some kind or a carriage and run it the Y axis, giving me my X, Y axis. Obviously there's some uh, controller boards that have to be built for these. I'm not sure how those work. Uh, i got to do a lot of research on this and see how these things work, these step motors. Uh, currently I have for you guys out there that might know something about these, I have a Type 23LM C210G3V uh, Mine B company. I have a 23KM KO34-02, also Mine B company. And I have a 23LM C210. 3524V. I'm guessing 24V is 24 volt, but I'm not sure. So those are the ones I have currently. I did print off some paperwork off the internet about these motors. Uh, I went to the MindB, Mind I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but the site, and it gives you all the uh, torque information and speed and all that. So, But you do have to have a controller motor to run these, and I don't have the controller, controller to run these motors. So I've got to build that controller. These are all four-wire uh, stepper motors. And I have three more of these at work. Actually, I have um, these, these two, no, I have, hold on a second, let me see which one I have. I have three more of these at work. I can't remember which ones I have. So anyways, a couple more of those at work. I actually still have to take the piece of equipment apart to get to them. So I don't have them yet. Uh, I still have the line printer, so I got to tear that apart and get those parts out. And then I'm gonna try and build this. And I don't know, you know, what I'm gonna use for the uh, the router or whatever you wanna call it. The router or the the, uh, the roto zip or what? I have one of each. I have a router. It's a Sears router. It's an old one. I don't think it has enough torque to it to work anything. I also have a roto zip uh, Dremel type tool, which can bolt in. So I've been doing a little bit of looking on the internet on this, and this is going to be one of my hobbies. And I'm not saying I'm going to get it done anytime soon, but I am going to try and play with this. So if anybody's ever done anything like this, or anybody knows anything about these, you know, comment below. Let me know some good links maybe to look at for this kind of stuff. 
Uh, and it's going to be a side hobby, so I'm not going to work on it real quick. Uh, I know there's a lot of research involved in it ahead of time, but just something else I want to try and get involved in a little bit. All right, that's all I want to show you is what I'm up to here. Um, hopefully I can get this thing running. Maybe after I get the lathe all put together, I can see and see some stoves out of it. Who knows? All right, check you later.